Oh hiya. Did you know in the mid-90s that the East Lothian removal scene was closely linked with the indie music scene? Aye, a lot of these removals men were in bands and I have found a rare record. That's right. Um, yeah, this is by the removals company Billy and Sebastian and they've done a wee track. Really rare record this and it's called Man with the Big White Van. So we had to be house in a bit of a panic We started to pack up a bit It got manic We had more than we thought And we got quite a lot And they were all fit in the back of a taxi There's hundreds of boxes and a 60 cube camera We had to come up with a the council to reserve the park and the removal then came and they got straight to work they got the stuff out the door they've done this before they were stacking the boxes in the back of the van taking control of the matters in hand he's a man with a plan and a man that can and a man with a big white van He's 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 a man with a big white van Sebastian split up shortly after this record was released. Although a healthy live scene existed for a couple of years in the mid-90s, the East Lothian indie scene never really got the media attention it deserved, with most bands disappearing without trace and only a few recordings available. That's what happens when you don't base your music scene around Glasgow School of Art. <laughs> it's alright, aye? It's mind-blowing stuff when you think about it.